Thanks to those of you who have checked out my Patreon, I am able to make a new series of Pokemon Epics. And a big shout out, of course, to the Nerd Therapist. Hey, Pokemon Masters, Berkey Patobi here, and what if Manaphy was cool and, like, really well put into the games? What if I was a creative at Game Freak and I'm there in the office with, you know, Janichi Masoud's in the gang? And Masoud's over here is all like, I've got this new mythical Pokemon and it's like the best thing ever. It's going to breed and have another mythical Pokemon as a baby. And I'm thinking, Masoud's, dude, my guy, my man, my main bro, we already have five mythical Pokemon in Generation 4. We don't need an, we don't need two in the form of Manaphy and Fione. SpongeBob, you agree with me, right? You know it, Toby. And I'm there in the creative meeting and we're talking about how they're gonna implement these Pokemon, Manaphy and Fione. And they always do this with mythical Pokemon and sometimes with legendary Pokemon. The lore just isn't that interesting. I've already done videos on Shaman, Mewtwo and Heatran. And this one is actually going to parallel the one with Heatran. Because as I said just a moment ago, Sinnoh is one of those regions that really suffers from the overcrowding of legendary and mythical Pokemon. Heatran was one that just didn't have a place until I integrated it with the last generation story, Team Magma. In very much the same way, I see an opportunity here for Manaphy to be integrated with Team Aqua. But first of all, how do we get Manaphy? Because I gotta say, out of all the mythical Pokemon, the method for obtaining is actually one of my favorite. I just think it could be cooler. First of all, you don't obtain a Manaphy. You obtain a Manaphy egg. These eggs are very differently designed to regular Pokemon eggs. The only other eggs I can think do this are the Togepi egg, Elekid egg, and any that appear in the anime. Generally speaking, a Pokemon egg looks very different to a Manaphy egg. And this is what you obtain. And when Manaphy hatches, it's special kind of gimmick. Well, it has two. One, it has the heart swap ability, which is in the show seen as it's able to like transfer minds between people, which is pretty nuts. And also when it breeds with a ditto, it makes another mythical Pokemon, Fione, which is basically the same Pokemon, but slightly worse. Anyway, the way you obtain the egg in the game is by doing the following. Step one, find yourself a copy of Pokemon Ranger. You can still do this today. If you want to get a Manaphy egg today, you can still do this. Get a copy of Pokemon Ranger. Number two, complete it. And number three, unlock the secret Manaphy Ranger mission. Manaphy has always been heavily tied in with the Pokemon Rangers. The movie it's in is called Pokemon Ranger and the Temple of the Sea. Problem is, there is a catch. There is only one Manaphy per game. And that's not like, hey, Pokemon Diamond, you can get one Dialga per copy of the game. No, with Pokemon Diamond, if you catch one, you can trade it away, you can reset the game, you can catch another, you can trade it away, reset the game, whatever. With Manaphy, it is one Manaphy per copy, or physical copy of the game. No resets, no restarts, if you restart, the Manaphy is still gone. That is the deal, and what I love about that is it means every time one is taken from a copy of the game, I did a live stream where I got mine off this copy of the game a year or two years ago, it's like a finite resource, it dwindles away, meaning each year, Manaphy's from Pokemon Ranger get rarer and rarer. But I digress, because while yes, that's a really cool way to obtain Manaphy, it doesn't really fit in with the Sinnoh lore or the Sinnoh story. It kind of fits in with the Pokemon Ranger story, and that's really, really cool. Like I said, they show it in the, sh the, in the movie. Wonderful. But what's that got to do with Sinnoh, where it was introduced? Instead, I want to tie it into the lore and the world of Sinnoh, doing the same thing I did for Heatran with Team Magma, and tie it into a post story of a new Team Aqua. I did an earlier take of this video and I didn't like it because my manga just completely, it fell off the shelf and it's not holding. So that's not got anything to do with this video. I just, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it down here. By the way, how have you been enjoying the, uh, the new set so far? I'm feeling like really good about this. So anyway, we're going to assume for the majority of this that we're being created with Pokemon Sapphire version and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl version. However, there are probably ways that you could still do this with Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl 2 remakes, future games, probably coming out next year, hopefully, please. So, your copy of Pokemon Sapphire, you finish the game, you beat Team Aqua, Archie is defeated, but much like in my Heatran video, there are admins. Max and Shelly, and they want to revive Team Aqua, this has been their whole life. So they take themselves and a group of powerful grunts, and they form the beginning of new Team Aqua. Every evil team does it. Especially Team Snooze, we're always coming back for more when we can be bothered. Anyway, it's the post game, you've beaten Team Aqua and you go and you talk to Mr. Briny. 
Mr. Briny is in many ways a protector of rare Pokemon. Supposedly it was he, uh, the head of the Devon Corporation and Drake of the Elite Four, who all came together to hide Mew on the island that you find it on in Pokemon Emerald. Mr. Briny knows a lot about the world and he also knows a lot about a ship that is just off the coast of Duford Town, the abandoned ship. Again, if you're doing this in Auras, it would be the Sea Marvel, but I like the idea of the abandoned ship. Because the location kind of opens up as you get more HMs. You first see it when you're in Mr. Briny's little sailboat going past on the route. Then later on, you obtain surf, so you can surf around it a little bit. After that, you obtain dive seven gyms in and you get to explore the whole place. And now you've heard that Team Aqua is there as a result of Mr. Briny, so you go to see what's going on. You battle your way through grunts who have invaded the ship, which I really like the idea of, because Team Aqua are pirates. Apparently, according to Team Aqua Grunt, they did not sink the ship originally, it was a different pirate known as the Phantom, who, for those of you who have watched the movie, know that he's the main villain in the Manaphy movie. But they are Team Aqua and they heard something called the Prince of the Sea was aboard this boat, so they need to work out what it is. They're hoping whatever it is will help them take control of the Pokemon Kyogre, because that was the problem the first time. They just lost control of Kyogre. What they need is to take control of it. As you make your way through the ship, you learn that it came from a far off region and was headed to the Sinnoh region before it got attacked by pirates. And right at the end there, you find Matt and Shelly and you give them a Pokemon battle. They have found the kind of, I guess we'll call it the treasure chest, the pirate chest that's in the bottom of the ship. You battle alongside Mr. Briny and Pico because all hail Pico. Yeah, that's a Trinitachi reference. And you stop the Team Aqua admins from getting hold of the Manaphy egg and Mr. Briny takes it. Of course, Matt and Shelly vow that Team Aqua will one day return as all evil teams do. And Mr. Briny will vow to complete the ship's journey and take the egg to the Sinnoh region just once he finds the time. Skip forward, you are now playing Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and you've completed the game and you're in the post game. And you do that same thing where you put the copy of Pokemon Sapphire, which has the event completed in the bottom of the DS and your DS registers, oh, you've got the Manaphy egg or you've done that thing. Awesome, now a new in-game event is available and you, as a, as a person of the Sinnoh region, you've completed the league, you're looking to complete your Pokedex. And you catch wind that a visitor from another region has appeared in Camelive City. Of course, it's Mr. Briny, and of course, because Diamond and Pearl set a few leaders after, this is him completing his quest. Mr. Briny is there with the Camelive City shipmaster. He talks about how you remind him of a powerful trainer from the Hoenn region, who which is, of course, the player character, and that he is going on a journey to take this Manaphy egg to the Sea Temple from where it came. And would you like to come with him? Which, of course, you say yes and you sail with Mr. Briny to a new island that is in the north area of Sinnoh, beyond Crescent Moon Isle and Full Moon Isle, and this is the island where Manaphy has come from. However, you are not alone. Team Aqua, or new Team Aqua, are already here, and they're looking for the Sea Temple. And as you travel around the jungle island, there is one wild Pokemon, Fione. They are all over the place, and Team Aqua are trying to catch them, and they realize that this Pokemon is not the Pokemon they look, they're looking for, but it looks so similar. No, they need a very special Pokemon and it's likely to live in the Sea Temple. These Fione are abundant. They are everywhere, they are low level, but this is where you can catch them in the wild. Now, Mr. Briny has entrusted the egg with you because he says if Team Aqua see him, they'll know where the Manaphy egg is, but they might not suspect you. So it's up to you. Get to the Sea Temple with the egg. You're moving along around the island and once you get to the higher up parts of the island, you meet a familiar face, Maxi of Team Magma. He says that he once fought Team Aqua in the past and he is here to stop them again. And he teams up with you for a couple of double battles and follows you round. Much like how in the Sinnoh games, there's all the characters that you meet with and follow you, kind of like Cheryl or Buck. And you make your way to the Sea Temple where just outside Matt and Shelly are waiting for you. They're like, how do you like the new Team Aqua grunts? Did you see how powerful they were with their new Sinnoh Pokemon with their Empoleon and Float Souls and, and Luminions? But no, no one remembers Luminion. I'm not surprised, it's pretty bad. Oh, that felt mean. And at that moment though, before you get a chance to battle them, the egg that you're carrying finally hatches. Manaphy emerges and they're like, ooh, what's going on? And immediately it uses its heart swap ability on you. There is a flash and you are now inside the temple, playing from the perspective of a different character that Manaphy has heart swapped you with. Your Archie, the previous Team Aqua leader, and you've got all of his Pokemon, Mytiana and Sharpedo. 
and you have to make your way from inside the sea temple out, getting past puzzles and using surfing techniques and waterfalls to navigate your way around this incredible temple. There's lots of wild peone and there's loads of Pokemon rangers inside the temple who are trying to stop anyone from invading. They don't know how you've snuck past them already and you don't really have a good answer for why you're leaving. Because you're not Archie anymore. Manaphy has heart swapped you, the player character, with Archie's body. You make your way outside of the temple and when you get outside you reunite with yourself and Archie is inside your player's body being freaked out about what's going on saying that he was just in the temple and he was coming because he heard that his team aqua grunts were calling. He heard that they were on the move and thought that he might come and deal with them. He sees Maxie and they share some kind of like uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. Yeah, things didn't go very well when we tried to take over the world. So why is new team aqua trying to do that? And at that point, Manaphy heart swaps you back. Max and Shelly insist that Team Aqua's plan was perfect, they just, they lost control of Kyogre. And they can use Manaphy's heart swap ability to personally take control of Kyogre, and so they don't have anything to worry about. Manaphy is known as the Sea Prince, it was born for Team Aqua. So you and Archie team up in a double battle against Matt and Shelly. And of course you beat them, and Team Aqua is stopped. Manaphy dives into some water and Archie says, hey, I bet it's inside the sea temple if you want to go and catch it. And you now, as yourself, Mark, Archie and Maxi leave, now have the opportunity to navigate through the sea temple, keep on catching Fiona, rebattle some of those Pokemon Rangers, navigate the puzzle in a reverse direction. And I think there could be some really interesting mechanics with navigating puzzles in two directions that involve diving and surfing and waterfalls. And eventually you make your way to Manaphy, whereupon you can finally battle it and add it to your team. And that to me is a far more interesting way to integrate Manaphy into the game. But this is a series all about being creative. How would you integrate Manaphy into the game? And who do you want to see me do next? What Pokemon do you feel like were underrepresented in the games and really need their lore and story expanded upon? I'm having a lot of fun doing these, so we'll see who I go for next. Thank you for watching, and of course, so hi, Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master!